Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Yes, it is that time. That time in which uh, we go over and discuss what are the popular picks for summer. Now, this isn't a top 10 list for my top 10 uh, summer. That list will come later in another video. What this list is and what I do for every single season is I go, go to back last year, uh, take a look at all of the reviewers, all the fragrances that we went ahead and reviewed, and compile them into a giant list. I know one of the major reasons that people watch top 10 lists is to kind of get a feel for what are some of the best fragrances that people love out there, um, and then go ahead and make their purchase. This video is to make that decision a little bit easier for you, because what it does is it goes through and it compiles all of their decisions, puts it all together, and presents you a top 10 list based off of everyone's decision rather than just uh, one person's decision. So in the end, I still recommend you to uh, go to everyone's channel, check out their top 10 list for it, because they're, in almost all of the cases, there are detailed descriptions of why they like the fragrance, a little bit about the fragrance, and you're not gonna get that from this video, but you'll get that from their channels. Um, but what you will get is the overall list compiled for some of the best fragrances. Now, there is one change to this list uh, that the other uh, lists have that I decided to kind of X out, and that's because of the much varied approach. And that is, when I did these lists, I did a version of uh, two types of lists. One was a simple count, pretty much, that counts up the fragrances uh, how many times they were mentioned on each person and kind of assigned it a value based off of that And the second value that I gave was a weighted value. The weighted value was based off of where it appeared in their top 10 I got rid of the weighted value The reason why I got rid of the weighted value was a couple of things first it I didn't feel that it Represented a real representation of what I wanted. I felt that ultimately the numbered list and how many times people are mentioning in it uh, fulfills people's needs a little bit more uh, number two, the sample was a little bit different this time around just because they're more so than any other season, including spring, summer appears to be where people have really varied uh, tastes. Whereas in winter, it's a little bit more, winter and fall is a little bit more congested. Summer is a little bit more free and out there. So without any further ado, let's get into the three lists. They're very quick lists, but let's start off with the uh, designer side. All right. So, here is the list. So you can see Allure Homme Edition Blanche, Dior Homme Sport. A lot of fragrances that people know are up there in the top uh, end of the list. Allure Homme Edition Blanche, almost everyone mentions this one. Same thing with Dior Homme Sport. Platinum Egoise from Chanel as well. Overall, uh, you can tell Chanel is one of the more popular houses. I mean, uh, Edition Blanche, Egoiste, uh, Allure Homme Sport, Blue de Chanel. They're all up there. Versace for Rome is up there as well. Uh, one fragrance uh, that you see at the bottom of the list, Un Jardin Soulenil, it's important to mention a lot of the Un Jardins from uh, the, Hermes, the Hermes line uh, did get a lot of mention. They just barely missed the list, but almost their whole line up and down got mentioned, uh, whether it's uh, Oren's Concentrate, uh, or some of the other ones that I saw there, but almost all of them were mentioned. Uh, it just happens that Un Jardin Soleno was the one mentioned the most out of all of them. Classics are in there. Isimiyake, still very popular. Same thing with Carolina Herrera, uh, 212. Fragrance has been around for a while and it's still very popular for the summer. Uh, so overall, that is the designer list. Now, let's move into the niche side of things. The niche side of things is a little bit obviously different, uh, but one thing that kind of surprised me again was Creed seems to dominate this list. Here is the list. The King, Aventus, the <laughs> heavy hitter and the King for niche. Uh, Millicent Imperial coming in two, Virgin Island Water. Top three are Creed's from this list. Um, and then as you scroll down, you get a little bit more Creed's, Green Arms Tweed, Jardin Malfi, Silver Mountain Water. Uh, pretty much most of the creeds up and down happen to populate this list. So when it comes to summer fragrances, you know, it's a pretty safe bet uh, that you want to take a look at the creed side if you're looking at some of the more expensive fragrances. Now, obviously, there are going to be people who don't like creed, but um, in the end, it seems like, you know, a lot of people like it, and for good reason. Um, outside of the creed line, you have uh, Humanis to, uh, from the Frappan line, um, as well as 1270 from the Frappan line, which is a little bit more of a lighter fragrance. Try and think Dolce & Gabbana or uh, 
yeah, Dolce & Gabbana, the one uh, when thinking about Fred Pan 1270. Uh, my buddy, Bergamot 22, was mentioned a couple times as well, too, and just barely made the list. So actually beat it out in the tiebreaker based off of uh, where people mentioned it. But uh, Bergamot 22 was there, um, as well as uh, Aquinas Versalis Forte coming in close to the middle of the pack. But overall, again, you really can't go wrong with Creed uh, when you're thinking for summer fragrances. Uh, they have a bunch of varied scents, and in general, you know, they're pretty nice fragrances so take with it what you will so let's get on to the third list and the final list and that is combined out of all fragrances mentioned let's completely get rid of the niche side let's completely get rid of the designer side what are the most mentioned fragrances and here is the list as follows designer still up there allure Homme edition blanche easily the most mentioned fragrance among all people aventus coming in second dear Homme sport Millicent Imperial next, Allure, uh, Ohm Sport, uh, Platinum Egoist, Virgin Island Water, Blue de Chanel, Dolce Bond of the One, and finally Versace Pour Ohm. Uh, so a very healthy mix of both niche and designer when we're really just looking at a fragrance uh, by itself. So, you know, among these 10, among all of these fragrances that are mentioned, you really can't go wrong if you're looking at uh, for some quality juice to kind of select for the summer. Now, again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to let me know. Comment down below what are some of your picks for the summer. Keep a lookout in the next either week, uh, within this week or maybe next week, I'll be coming out with my list for fragrances. And actually, this time around, I'm actually going to design, divide it up into niche and designer, both in the same, both in the same video. It's not going to be too long, hopefully, but uh, that's the plan. So again, let me know what your picks are for it. Let me know what you think about the picks from all YouTube reviewers and have a great day. Take care of yourselves and God bless.